Hey guys, I'm Emily. Um, I'm on the NMX team and I'm a mobile Android intern. And this summer I focused on focus. So about me, um, I grew up in the well-known tech community of Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Uh, some say it's the other Silicon Valley, really. Uh, but I'm not Amish, and <laughs> I went to Penn for undergrad, and I studied uh, neuroscience and classical studies, which is super useful working in tech. Um, and I then decided to go into computer science, and so I'm doing my post back at Mills College in Oakland. And I really like dogs. <laughs> All right, so like I said, um, I'm going to talk about what I worked on for Focus for Android this summer. And yep, <laughs> it's really exciting. All right, so as you may or may not know, uh, Focus can, it automatically blocks trackers for you. And this is a great thing, except when it breaks a website because it relies on trackers. So one of the first things I did was to add a badge to uh, show the user that they had turned off uh, the tracker blocking. And so, it, as you can see, it does turn to black, but we wanted to make it a little more clear. And it's kind of hard to see now, I'm realizing, um, but it's like a little uh, blocking badge. And so, yeah, so users can turn off uh, the blocking, and then we wanted to make a little badge that over the menu to be like, hey, you should probably come turn that back on soon. All right, um, and then one of the next things I worked on was adding download support for Focus. Um, so here the user wants to download a, a not sketchy file.pdf. So the dialog will pop up and give them a warning that downloaded files won't be deleted and it also gives them the opportunity to cancel. And then once they download the file, uh, a snack bar will pop up and let them know that it's finished downloading and it also gives them the option to open and um, if we found a application that can support that file type. And if there are multiple, it'll pop up a little uh, chooser, and they can choose which application they want, and then it'll launch uh, the file for them. Okay, so <laughs> here we did add to home screen, which was kind of Focus's solution for bookmarks. Uh, so instead of adding bookmarks, we gave the users the option to create a little home screen icon to their favorite websites in Focus. Um, and so here, I really want to save my favorite band um, as an icon on my desktop for easy access. And so if I go to the website, I can then go to the menu and click add to home screen and it'll pop up a little dialogue again. And it actually generates a, a little icon based on the URL. So here it's an N for my favorite band. Um, and it's still discreet, though. And if the user wants to be even more discreet, they could actually uh, change the title. So I could just write best band in the world. Um, but I'm not embarrassed. So I just kept it as Nickelback. And it's on my, it's on my home screen now. So there it is. <laughs> All right. So those were some of the main projects I worked on this summer. Um, and I have some upcoming stuff that I'm going to be finishing up. So one of them is uh, show search terms or URL. So this will be if you do a quick search in Focus and you realize you have a typo, when you click on the URL bar, instead of showing a search URL, which no one really wants to copy and share anyway, um, it'll actually show your original search terms. Um, so yeah, this is completed and should be in the next couple releases for Focus. I'm not sure when. Um, yeah, so it's just supposed to be for like, quick changes to your search without actually clicking on the Google search thing. Um, so another thing I'm working on is prototyping for multitasking for Focus. <laughs> so yeah, just we're going to add multitasking some way or another. So look out for that. <laughs> and uh, another big project I was working on by the end of my internship was trying to get more contributors to come to Focus. Um, since it's a newer project, it wasn't really on a lot of documentation. So I added it to what can I do for Mozilla.org, um, and we've gotten a lot of traffic from that. And I also have been working on identifying and tagging bugs in uh, GitHub uh, as good first bugs for people to uh, come and try to give it a shot. <laughs> and I also added a Wikipedia page for focus so that it can get a little uh, more web presence for everyone. And of course, catching other bugs and putting out other fires that I probably created. <laughs> <laughs>
And I also won a big ping pong match, so I needed to <laughs> I needed to include that. So it was a real nail biter. Went down three sets, and I, I eked it out in the end. But Barbara was a real real component. So special thanks to my whole team, the NMX team. Um, Sebastian, of course, my focus go-to. You were great, even from Germany. It was awesome. Uh, the mobile team and university recruiting team, of course. So Tara and Nicole, thank you so much. And all the other interns and Mazillions that I've met. And the seventh floor espresso machine. Great. You are great. <laughs> so thank you. And here are my dogs. <laughs> <laughs>